All right, so we're just uh, sampling this area. It's got some oxidization. You can see the uh, how rusty it looks. Uh, there's a quartz vein in behind here, so we're just going to pull some material off and see if there's any uh, any kind of mineralization. All right, so uh, we have a small little showing here. Uh, this whole area has uh, small little stringer veins, mainly consisting of pyrite and calcopyrite. Uh, up there, there's a couple uh, old shafts. One's about 40 meters deep, and then over here, there's another one that's about 190 to 200 meters deep. So we're going to sample this and uh, see can see that it uh, starts to widen up back there. We're going to pull off uh, a little bit of this material and send it in. See what we get out of that. You can see the, how this flakes off. That's um, schists. There's some feldspar, quartz feldspar in there. And then we'll uh, head on to the next location. Alright, so we're just uh, on another uh, exposure here. You have a, uh, a small band of uh, mineralization all throughout here. Uh, you can see there's not a whole lot of it, but uh, there is some. So we're going to take a sample and send it in and see if this is worth exposing or, or not. It looks like it's almost... Uh, some kind of zinc sulfide, um, some pyrite in there, and calcopyrite as well. So we'll we'll pull a couple samples and we'll send this in for an analysis and then uh, see if it's worthwhile to come back here at all. All right, so we've just exposed the quartz vein. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of oxidization there, a bit more here goes in all different directions. Uh, a lot of times quartz isn't associated with mineralization. However, we are near an old VMS deposit, so we know um, to look in the quartz for sure. So it doesn't look like there's anything major here, but what we're going to do is we're going to come back eventually um, with our coring bits and core in about uh, 12 14 inches and see if there's anything below it. Alright, so we're coming up on another quartz vein here. Doesn't look like there's much of anything on it. But again, we won't write it off until we've uh, done a little bit of coring. Looks like there's a little bit of malachite staining right there. Maybe we'll expose a bit of this and uh, see if there's anything else. Okay, so uh, we got uh, some oxidized quartz here. Don't see any uh, any mineralization though. It's very heavy, quite heavy actually. Uh, you can see there's another chunk right here. And uh, if you take a look up here, you can see this is where the actual vein is. So, um, well, there is a little bit of mineralization on that. Looks to be like pyrite. Um, in order to check on this further, we'd have to remove all this overburden. But we'll probably come back and uh, drill into this and see if there's anything inside that as well at a later date. All right, so now it's time to do our uh, gold giveaway. Uh, we're at a random number generator here, so we're gonna do uh, four individual one gram vials of gold. Um, so first number is 489. Okay, and the second lucky winner Number 
Number 127 is lucky number 3. And 340 is number 4.